continuing with my Japan haul videos. So before this video should have been my Kimitadoke exhibition and haul, and before that my art books and doujinshi haul. So today I'm going to go through all of the merch that I got while in Japan, and I have laid everything out so that I don't forget to share anything, but I'm just going to go by series and just share the things from each series that I picked up. I'm going to start with One Piece because I got a lot of Sanji stuff and then my husband got a few things for his favorite characters as well. So at the jump store or the jump shop, we got these two clear files. So one of Hancock, who is my husband's favorite character. These were really cool. They were kind of just like... I don't know, sketches, but kind of like in the style as if they're key animation, but happy to get these. They also had these available as prints in frames, but they were kind of expensive. So we went with the clear files instead. And then a couple other things that I also got from the Mugiwara store. These two little Sanji little plush things. Not sure exactly what they're called, but just Sanji in a tie and dress shirt. And then Sanji from Wano, those little hair. There was one more Sanji that had like yellow stitching on his face, but I decided to skip that one because it just kind of blended in with the rest of his body. So super cute, really excited to have these. These were also from the Mugiwara store. So a little charm of Sanji's pirate logo. And I think it just has a little clip. It's not like a keychain, but also got these clip-on earrings of Zoro and Sanji. So cute. I didn't realize they also had actual earrings. If I knew, I would have got those instead because my ears are pierced. But at the one that we went to when I got this, they only had these in stock. So I had to get it so that I could wear Sanji on my ear. <laughs> and I was thinking, I don't dislike Zoro, but I kind of want to make it a Sanji pair. So I'm thinking about taking Zoro off and somehow attaching this charm so that I can have a little, a little Sanji set, <laughs> but we'll see. some stickers that we got. So this one was also from the Mugiwara store. Sanji and his raid outfit. And then these were from B-Side Label, a little sticker store that we found. So for my husband, we got Hancock, Robin, and Vivi. And then for me, Sanji. <laughs> so there was one more that was similar to this style but because it was so similar I skipped it so be proud of me that I didn't just buy every single Sanji I actually think the sticker was this design in the same outfit but with his hands down but then this one was with his hands in his pockets so I got this one then this one, his raid outfit, Wano. These are so cute. It's, I don't know, it's a little creepy that they have just like black eyes, but they're cute, so. This was a sticker that I got from Animate of Sanji. I collect stickers of Sanji, so I just had to have it to add to add to my sticker collection. We got both of these keychains from the jump shop. They had a printer machine 
right at the entrance of the store. And it was kind of cool. You were able to choose which illustrations and each character had three different options. So you could choose two of the three and then print them. And we just thought they were prints. So we printed them. And then after we finished printing and paying for them, we realized, oh, these are for keychains and we got to make them ourselves. So it was a pretty fun experience. I chose Sanji, of course. Uh, I love this. <laughs> I love this section of the story. <laughs> and then my husband chose Hancock. So very cool. It was really exciting and fun to choose these ourselves and to try making them. And then from a gotcha machine, we got these two keychains. So one of Robin and one of Rayleigh. And I'm so happy. I actually did quite a lot of pulls at this machine because I really wanted to get Rayleigh or Shanks or Crocodile. And I kept pulling really undesirable characters. So I'm a bit frustrated that I spent so much money on that machine, but then I gave up because I just couldn't get, couldn't get them and I had used all my 100 yen coins. But then my husband went back and was able to get Rayleigh, I think on his second try. So I was really happy to get this one. And then as soon as I got it, I wore it on my backpack for the rest of the trip. But then the Robin one is for my husband because she is one of his favorite girls. And just to show, I got a couple other good ones, like I did get Whitebeard and Zorro. But like I said, the ones I wanted were Rayleigh, Shanks, or Crocodile. But then all these, all these characters I didn't want with a lot of duplicates. So again, just glad that I got these ones. And then from Again, the Mugiwara store. I got this little mini clear file of Sanji's wanted poster. And it has his little pirate logo here on the back. And it came with a little print or a postcard. So it came with this postcard. He looks a bit wild in this wanted poster, but I had to have it for my collection, so. Also from the Mugiwara store, this little, I don't know if this is a postcard too, but it's a little thicker than a typical like bromide. But I love the color walk style for one piece. It's my favorite. So my favorite is the color walk colored manga style, then the manga art style, and then the anime, so. to get it to focus. So got this one. And then at a second hand store, we were just going through looking at acrylic standees, acrylic charms, keychains, and we found this really nice shikishi board of Sanji and it was only like a dollar. So we got this as well. I almost passed on it because I was thinking it would be hard to transport back without damaging it because it's a larger size, but because it was so cheap, I just got it and then I was able to tuck it between art books and it was safe. I also got these little, I'm actually not sure what these are called, but it's like clear files, but then they're just single sheets, but then they're the kind of thick, kind of like a clear file, but then a little thicker. So I got this one of Sanji, of course. I had to get as much Sanji as I could. And then I got this one that had just all the different 
pirate symbols, so. And these were both from the Mugiwara store. This tote bag was also from the Mugiwara store. I really wish they'd had different ones that just had one character on them because I would have loved to just have Sanji's face plastered on the side of a tote bag, but this was one that had all the straw hats, so Sanji looks so precious. And I am a sucker for little canvas bags, little tote bags, so of course, as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to get it. I also started collecting character cards from the One Piece trading card game. And I'll just quickly flip through all of these, but before I do that, I'm gonna share some of the figures that we got. So I was torn between a few different Sanji figures that I had seen, and as a result, I just bought all three <laughs> because I couldn't decide between them. But then I felt like I was making choices and doing a good job because then I found a lot more than this and these were my three favorites. So I'll show first the one that my husband got. He got this lovely figure of Hancock. I actually got to decide on which one he got because he had a couple favorites and couldn't decide between them. And this was my favorite one, so I just love the way her face looks. I feel like that's the biggest issue I have with a lot of figures is that I don't like the way the faces are painted, but I liked the way her face looked and I loved her outfit and her pose. So glad we were able to find her at a good price. And then my Sanjis, I believe they're all from the same company, but they're all different sizes. So I would absolutely hate to have them all lined up on a shelf. So I'm gonna have them each on different shelves so that I can try to forget that they're different sizes, but we have Sanji. I think this is from Film Gold, which I have not watched yet. Then we have this Sanji in his maroon suit. And then Sanji from Film Red. I love his outfit and I love his hair in this movie. The only thing I don't like about this figure is that he's wearing sunglasses, so you can't see his face, you can't see his eyes, but I really like this figure and his sword. <laughs> it's just, I really like it. And I was most worried about the space to get these figures home as well as any pieces getting damaged, especially the parts where he's holding a cigarette just that it would get pressed on and would break or something. So what I ended up doing is I took these two Sanjis out of their boxes, collapsed these boxes flat, and then put both of those inside this box with the third Sanji because this was a slightly bigger box and the figure was inside this section. So there was a little triangular section here for one figure and then another one here and they fit perfectly. They were kind of snug without actually being tight in here. So it was perfect. And then I put this in my carry-on bag and brought them all home. And that's all the merch, I think, unless I forgot something, but this is all the merch for Sanji and for One Piece. So let me go ahead and go through the cards now. So I believe I got all the Sanji cards that are currently out. I know there are some new ones that are gonna be releasing soon.
But I had so much fun going into trading card shops and just looking for Sanji. I'm really glad, oops, I'm really glad I was able to find all of these at good prices. Almost all of the Sanji cards were under $3. And there were just two or three that were a little more expensive. So most of these are character cards, but then there's some event cards. I think this is a Dawn card, but I just wanted everything with Sanji. And now that I'm back home, I think I am gonna get some kind of binder or something to put these in to keep them safe. And then I'll probably like rotate having some of them on display. And then in addition to Sanji, I also wanted to collect, I was a little worried I was gonna spiral out of control and start collecting all the characters that I like. So I decided to just get my favorite card for each other character that I wanted to get a card for. So for Shanks, I got this one. I love it, he looks so good in it. And Shanks had some cards that were like over a thousand dollars USD because of how rare they are. So I'm glad that my favorite one was affordable. Smoker, Crocodile, Cora, Odin, Ace, Zoro, Law, Kid, and Killer. So then those are all my extra ones that I got. I realized after we left, the one card that I wanted to get that I forgot about was Sabo. I really want to get a Sabo card still. And then my husband's cards. So he put his favorites in top loaders already. So Vivi. Robin. And then these two Hancock cards. So these ones are his favorites. He was not trying to be a completionist. He was just trying to find affordable ones and just choose his favorites. And then he also got a couple more of Vivi. More Hancock. And more Robin. These are his three favorite girls from One Piece. And they're my favorite girls as well. So that is everything from One Piece. Next, I have the goods from Given that I got from the pop-up shop. So I did share, I believe last week, two shorts from going to the pop-up shop in Shinjuku for Given at the Kinokuniya store there. And they had a ton of merch. It was really exciting. And I ended up going twice because the first day I bought five packs of print cards. And then after I left, there were a couple items that I regretted that I hadn't gotten. So then I went back and got a few clear files and a poster. And it was kind of exciting. When you spent a certain amount of money, you got free stickers at checkout. So I ended up getting all four of them. They were randomly given. So I was really pleased that of the ones I got, I did get a few duplicates, but I did get all the ones that I wanted. So, well, this is all four of them. So Haruki, Aki, Ue, and Mafia. So got all of these and it's exciting too because this was just for the event and these aren't ones that can be purchased separately unless you buy them secondhand from someone. But let me share the poster real quick before I forget since it's off to the side here. 
So it's actually a double-sided poster, which is really cool. I feel like this illustration is everywhere. Now that I've seen it, it's in the art books. It's the cover of the illustration book as well as being in the illustration book as well. But a very lovely illustration. But then what I wanted was the illustration on the back. So it's kind of funny, I almost didn't get it because I thought that these were two posters that were in blind boxes. So just depending on which one you grab, you would get either this illustration or the other illustration. I didn't realize that they were double-sided posters until we went the second time. And then I was just like, okay, yeah, I'll get it for sure. But the other illustration, is the cast in suits and they look fantastic. I don't think this illustration is in the art book. So I just had to get it because look how nice they look. So I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna display this because it is long if you couldn't, if you couldn't tell. It is quite long. So still deciding how I'm gonna do that. So I'll share the clear files that I got and then I'll do a quick flip through all of the postcards. So I got two packs of clear files and then one single. And actually, I don't know if these would still be called clear files because they're not, so I guess just file. So I got these two of Haruki and Aki. And then, oh, in the back. It just says given. And it's really shiny and reflective. And then these two were a pack, again, of Haruki and Aki. And the back has snow. And I'm glad that I was able to get both of these two packs because I kind of wanted, I thought it would be kind of fun. I don't know if I'll have space to display them, but I thought it was funny to have these two from opposite packs looking at each other and then in the opposite packs them looking at me. <laughs> so yeah, I have these now. And then the single clear file that I got is of these two characters again. And this is an illustration in the art book as well. And then I got five packs of prints. Actually, they might be postcards. So postcard prints. So I'll just flip through each one. So I think each one had five, except for this first one only had three. And I don't know for sure, but I, I want to say that these ones are from the illustrations on the alternate dust jackets, but I'm not sure because I didn't get the alternate dust jackets. They had them for sale at the pop-up shop. And the next one. These ones are just blank on the back. Thank you. 
And then lastly, And that's all of the postcards. So really happy I was able to attend this event, this pop-up shop, and get some of the exclusive merch there. Next, a few things from Haikyuu. So Omi is my favorite character in Haikyuu, and I found hardly any merch of him the whole time we were in Japan, but when we were at the jump shop at the machine that we printed the illustrations for One Piece and made those keychains, they also had the option to print larger photo prints. So I printed these two scenes of Omi in Haikyuu so that I could have some official merch of Omi that I got in Japan. <laughs> So really happy I was able to find something and I'm gonna have to find a way to display these now. I also got this little button pin of Atsumu and this actually came with a shirt that I got that was auto autographed by Atsumu. And then this wasn't merch, this was just like a little leaflet advertising the movie coming out soon. So I picked up this leaflet and I grabbed it to have as a souvenir. I'm glad it made it home safely without getting the corners banged up. So I'm gonna tuck this in the art book and have it as a little memento. And then I'm gonna cut to a different video clip of some of the apparel that we got while in Japan because I wanna share the tea that this came with. So I got that shirt for Haikyuu and then a few shirts for other anime series. Okay, so from the jump shop, I got this long sleeve tea, this MSBY Black Jackals logo on the front, and it is an extra large MSBY on the back, autographed by Atsumu. So there were a few different characters that had little signed tees and they were all only available in the size that the actual character would wear. So Atsumu would be an extra large and that's the size they were selling his tee in. I really, really wanted Omi, but they didn't have one for him, so I got Atsumu's because I do really like him a lot. And then from Uniqlo, we picked up a few different tees. One that I got was this purple JJK tee with Toji here on the side and this embroidery. And I actually got two of these because I washed the, I wore it and washed it at the hotel and I thought it had shrunk. And so I was really not wanting my Toji shirt to be ruined. So I got a second one. And now that I've gotten home and washed both of them, I think they're both okay. So now I just have two and I am totally fine with that. And the back is just plain. And then we got a few t-shirts from Uniqlo for my husband as well. So we got this one piece tea for him, has the straw hats.
on the front and then on the back. I really wanted a Sanji tee, but I couldn't find one that was just of him. But my husband got this one and I think it looks pretty nice. And then he got a second one piece tee. Scars on the back are a swordsman's shame. So this Zoro tee and there's no text or anything on the back. This is a pretty nice one. And then two Attack on Titan tees. So this white one that has a front pocket with this emblem on it. And on the back, this manga panel. So he's excited to wear this one. And then the second Attack on Titan tee, this one's dark green. It also has a front pocket. And then the design on the back of this one. has a colossal titan and just comparing the size of it to a horse and a human. And then we got one last t-shirt and it was for my husband from the video game series Bloodborne. We found a store called Torch Torch that exclusively had t-shirts and bags and even jewelry featuring the game series from the company From Software. So this is the one that he chose. I'm not familiar with this game at all, but he likes this series called Bloodborne and wanted to get this one. And the back is just plain. And this is all the different apparel that we got. Okay, so that was all of the clothing that was manga anime related. So then in addition to my Toji shirts that I got, I also got a few other Toji items. Both of these were from Animate. So a little towel. As soon as I saw this, <laughs> Chevy Toji, I knew he was gonna be coming home with me. I don't really need a little towel like this, but it was either this or a clear file and I had already gotten quite a few clear files so I thought I would just get this little towel and I could use it to dust off all the dust from his Nendoroid once I get his Nendoroid and Toji would be happy about that. So, <laughs> And then I also got this key holder. I liked that it had a few different illustrations of Toji. There also was a coin holder like zipper pouch and a few keychains but this is the one that I thought I would actually use and I could put like my house key, my office key, my post office box key and then just I can keep this tucked in my purse and the keys will be safe and not be scratching other things in my purse. Also because in a lot of manga, people have little key cases like this and I thought it would be fun to have one and then especially having Toji on it. So excited to have this and to use it. Next, a couple items from Tokyo Revengers. I actually saw a lot of merch for Tokyo Revengers at every anime and at all the secondhand stores. But there wasn't really anything I wanted until I found these couple of items. So this little rubber keychain of Mitsuya with his measuring tape and his pins and 
his marking pencil. I just thought this was so cute. Mitsu is my favorite character. And then because I had already gotten the one piece earrings, the clip on earrings, I saw Mitsuya's earring for sale and I had to get it as well. <laughs> so now I've got these little goodies to add to my Mitsuya merch. Another really, really exciting place that we stopped when we were in Kyoto was a Koto shop. So one of my favorite manga series is Kono Oto Tamare, which is about this instrument called a Koto. And it was something I really wanted to do when we were in Japan is go to a Koto shop. And we had done research ahead of time and couldn't find any near the places we'd be staying. I think it's that a lot of the Koto shops just didn't have websites. But at the hotel we stayed at in Kyoto, right across the street was a little Koto shop. And I was able to get some souvenirs that were so exciting. So first I got these two Koto bridges and the bridges are used for tuning the strings on this instrument. So each Koto has several of these, but I just wanted to get them as souvenirs to put on my shelf with my manga. But then the highlight, the absolute highlight was oops, getting these plectrums. So as you can see on the cover, he has these plectrums on his fingers. The Koto is played with three plectrums and then the rest of the strings you pluck with your fingers. And it was so exciting and thrilling that not only did I get plectrums, but I got to choose which nail to get on them and the type of band to get on them. And the owner of the shop was so nice and he thought it was really funny that we were getting this stuff because of a manga we liked, <laughs> but it made him happy because he loves these instruments. But what was most exciting is that he sized these to my fingers. So now I have my own personal plectrums. Yay. And I was actually planning to take a Koto lesson while we were in Tokyo. But unfortunately, the plans kind of fell through because the instructor was not available for the week we had made a reservation. And so our reservation was canceled and it was during our final week of our trip. So I'm disappointed I wasn't able to get my lesson and use my plectrums on a real Koto, but just really happy I was able to get these as a souvenir and this gorgeous box that I got to transport them. Next, I have some merch from the game series, Legend of Zelda. So we went to the Nintendo store and found a few goodies. We got these two stickers or decals. And it was a little disappointing because at Nintendo, there were a couple of items that my husband really liked, but all the things that he wanted were sold out. So. We ended up getting just these two towels because we liked the designs on them. And we were determined to find, find things to buy <laughs> so that we could have them as mementos. But then I think this is my favorite thing that we got from the Nintendo store is just this little zipper bag with this design on the front and back. Next from the series Attack on Titan, we got this standee for Mikasa. And it's kind of funny because we just thought it was gonna be a standee, just a regular one, but it actually had magnets on it. So you can stick her onto places and she can just be swinging with her equipment and it's pretty 
Pretty cool. Since we got back, we've had her on the fridge. <laughs> so my husband was excited to find her at one of the animate stores we went to. Next, I got a few things for the anime series free. So one of the places we went when we were in Japan was to the little town of Iwami, which is in the Totori prefecture. And it's because the town that Free takes place in the anime is based on this little town. And so once we got to this town, we went to the Welcome Center and they just had a bunch of merch for the series. And of course I had to buy some of it. So I got these two keychains. They were blind bags. And so I just got two of them and I was not expecting to get the characters that I wanted, but I couldn't believe it. I got Sosuke. The first one I opened was Sosuke and I was so happy because he's my favorite character. And I got him. And then the other one that I got was Makoto. And then at the shop, I also got this little print set. I love this, this one of Haru, Makoto, and Reen. I love that it has the little, the little bird here, but then each of them are holding little plushies of their animals that kind of represent them. So I thought that was really neat. And then I also got this little tote bag, this little canvas bag that says you and me. I thought this would be such a special souvenir. And it's pretty small, but it does open like it can it can hold some stuff. <laughs> but I was telling myself I'll use this as my swimming bag to try to motivate myself to exercise <laughs> since the series free is all about swimming. So these are all the things that I got in Iwami. And then at one of the secondhand stores, my husband found this coaster and I was really happy about it because these three characters are some of the older characters in the series, two of the mentors. I really like Ryuji and there's like hardly any merch of him. So I was really happy to see this and it looks like, I don't know, I'll have to translate these, but they're not autographs, but probably little messages or something. I don't know, but I was really happy that he found this. Next, I got a few things for Bungo Stray Dogs. So with all my Bungo Stray Dogs purchases at Animate, I got little photo prints. So this is the one I'm most excited about, Fukuchi. Then I got Rompo, Dazai, Sigma. I got a few others too that I and I'm planning to gift to some friends, so I don't have them with me anymore. But the main purchase that got me all of those photo prints were acrylic standees. So they had several different lines of blind bags of different lines of chibi standees. And there was one line that had, I believe it was 11 different possibilities and these were the two that I wanted. So I took a risk and got some of them, hoping that I would get these two characters, Fukuchi and Fukuzawa. Fukuzawa is one of my favorite characters, but I was so determined to at very least get Fukuzawa that I bought 10 of them <laughs> because I wanted to make sure I would at least get him. And it was probably worth it because they were the only ones that I got of them. I didn't get any duplicates of them. So I'm really happy that I got these. I'm going to make a little Bungo Stray Dogs display on my shelves. But then some of the other ones that I got, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep some of them or if I'm going to try to just sell them. But the ones that I'm thinking of keeping are these two because they're so cute from seasons four and five. I think from four and five and then from five. 
but they're so cute. And then two more of the hunting dogs. Again, just so cute. Oh, just as chibis, they're all so cute. Then I got two duplicates and I forget his name, but this character, and then I got a duplicate of him as well. So I'm not sure yet, but I'm just happy that I got Fukuza and Fukuchi. Next, I got a few prints and postcard books. So first I got this little two pack of part one and part two from Trigon Stampede of postcards. I'm not gonna flip through all of them because I don't wanna accidentally crack it and have them falling out, but one of them is for Vash and then the other one is for Wolfwood. And then they were wrapped with this little paper. So I'll just show this paper that shows the different illustrations in each one. So I really enjoyed my watch of Trigon Stampede. I haven't read any of the manga, but I really like these two characters. So I wanted to get this, both of these to have a little more of them in my collection. And then at a secondhand store, we found this Snort with the red hair little, not album, it's just a print set from the 15th anniversary. So I was really excited to get this because I have been getting some other prints while on this trip. But the prints in here contain all the cover illustrations for the series through, I don't know what volume this is, but through this volume. So this must be the new release volume whenever they were having this exhibition and their postcards. And of course I'm not gonna actually use any of them because then it would break up my set. I don't know, maybe I would use them because the newer, the newer volumes don't have a place in this little collection. So maybe I would just pick my favorites, I'm not sure, but they recently had their 20th anniversary and had an exhibition a few months ago. So this one's from five years ago. So that's kind of exciting that I was able to get a hold of this secondhand. And it was new too, the postcards were sealed. Okay, two series to go. So the next one is the anime series A3. So this is the top 10 anime series for me. It's about a bunch of guys who gradually join a theater troupe to become stage actors. And the series is broken up into four different groups, spring, summer, fall, and winter. And those are the different groups of theater troupes that do performances together. So I love this series. I have the anniversary books that are kind of like art books and guidebooks, but I feel like it's really hard to find merch for the characters that I like. So I was just swimming in A3 merch when we would go into the secondhand shops and into K-books. There were so many little acrylic standees, acrylic charms. So I picked up quite a, quite a lot of things. So from K-books, I got these four acrylic plates. So each one is for a different theater troupe. So this is the spring troupe. Summer Troop, Autumn Troop. This is my favorite one, my favorite troop. My four favorite characters are Jusa, Omi, Sakya, and my fourth favorite is in this troop over here. And then the Winter Troop. I almost just wanted to get this one because it's my favorite, but then I just... <laughs> I wanted to just get all four, but I'm not really sure how I'm gonna display them now that I have them. But I don't know, I'm gonna do my best. Sorry, just had to do a bit of a hard cut because my phone ran out of storage. So continuing where I left off. So these four A3 acrylic plates, and then 
at the same K-Books where they were selling just a ton, ton of A3 merch, I got my four favorite characters as little matching acrylic standees. And they're so cute. So first, Jusa. And then Omi. They're so cute. They're like, I don't know if they're little waiters or if they're just serving food. They're so cute. And Sakyo. And Teru. So I'm really happy I was able to find all four of them and that they match. And I'm really excited to get them all set up. I definitely am not gonna have space to have all four of these acrylic plates set up at once. So I'll probably have to rotate them. I got a few other things. So I could only find this little card for the autumn troop. I couldn't find them in the other troops and they probably didn't have the same little theme. I would have gotten all four if I could find them, but I could only find the autumn one, which was fine because it has three of my favorite characters. They're so cute, just a little, a little print. And then at Animate, this was a bit of a splurge. I got three more heavy acrylic. They're not plates, they're stands, but they stand without bases. And it's hard to demonstrate because they're in plastic still, but I did take one out. And because they're thick, they do really just stand up on their own. But I'm gonna have to be careful when I set them up because I live somewhere that has earthquakes and I can just imagine them falling off the shelf and getting damaged or damaging something else. But again, for my four favorite characters, I got their little, their little stand, so Omi. And it was amazing. They had one of these for every character. That's 24 of these, 24 characters for sale at Animate. So I almost just got two of these, but then I just really wanted to get all four of my favorites. And then they each have their autograph and then behind them in their closet, items that have to do with the roles that they've done in their plays. So Omi. And Itaru, his autograph. And they had each one kind of in color themes. So the spring troop, all of them were pink, but because three of these are from the autumn troop, three of them are orange and one of them is pink. So I wish they all matched or that they were all different, but it's okay. And then Juza, his autograph. It's really funny, there was one character whose stand, their autograph was just three triangles and it was so funny because it's a character who just is obsessed with triangles. As you can see here, he's doing a little triangle, so I thought it was so funny. <laughs> and then the last one, Sakyo, his autograph and his little accessories from his rolls, but I just love these. I would have loved to have gotten all 24, but that would have been expensive as well as really heavy to transport back. And of course I wouldn't have space for it to have them all displayed, but I just loved this line. I'm so glad that I saw it because I only saw these in one animate of all the stores that we went into. So I'm glad they had all of my favorite characters in stock. And then the last thing for A3, another Animate purchase, I got four print card packs and actually they're postcards, postcard prints. And each one is for a different troop. So I'll just flip through these. So for the spring troop, it shows them all in character for a play that they're doing. Love him. I love a lot of the characters, but 
Just those are some of my favorites. And then the summer troop. So sometimes they're dressed kind of wild because they'll be doing different, different performances with different settings or themes. Oh, and it has their autographs. That's so cool. Autumn Troop. Henri, I like his. <laughs> She's a Omi <laughs> with glasses. And then Sakyo in a wig or with his hair dyed. But yeah, so that's cool that they're autographed. And lastly, the winter troop. So this is all of my A3 merch that I was able to get my hands on. I felt like I went a little overboard with A3, but I don't regret getting any of these. So I'll just have to do my best to find a way to display all of this. And in the last series that we got merch for is the game series Nier, which also has an anime. So this is my husband's favorite series and it has some of his favorite girls in it. So while we were in Japan, he fortunately was able to find quite a bit of merch. He got some acrylic charms, some keychains, as well as several clear files. So he didn't just buy a ton of clear files as singles. Most of these were in packs. So I'll just show all of these clear files to be E2. I find this illustration really funny because it looks like she's pregnant every time I look at it, but it's her holding a cat. Ninus is so cute with this little bunny. This one is super cute. <laughs> we actually found little tiny standees of all of these characters and they had a set on display, but then the actual ones for sale were sold out. So I'm glad this print has all of them on it. This is probably my favorite one, these twin brothers. I might see if I can snag this from him if he'll let me have it. <laughs> all right, so those are all of the clear files. We also got several of the booster packs for the trading card game. And so I'll flip through those in just a minute after I go through all of these, so. We found these two sticker decals. I think my husband is weak to stickers just like I am. <laughs> and then some rubber keychains. And then these three acrylic keychains. They did have standees for sale as well, but they were huge, like really big. And we definitely would have gotten them if they were a smaller size, like not even this small, like double this would have been fine for a standee, but they were humongous standees. So we passed on them. 
and got these keychains instead. And then there were a few other keychains that my husband won from Gotcha Pulls that were from this kind of rubber series. But he hasn't fully decided yet, but he's going to sell some of the ones that he got and just stick to the characters that he likes and then have this, <laughs> this little robot on the side. And then this right here is not a credit card. This is actually a rental card from a retailer. I forget what it was called. I'll put it up on the screen, but it's basically a store that rents out manga, anime, and games. And this is one of their rental cards. And my husband just registered so that he could get this card with this illustration of 2B and 9S in formal wear. And lastly, the cards. So he got some pretty good ones from his first couple pulls. But these are his favorites. So this one of 2B in a top loader so you can't really tell but it's holographic and then a2 and 9s and then I'll just quickly shuffle through the rest of them It was really exciting to get these from the booster packs because all of the one piece cards that we got, we got from trading, trading card shops where we just found the individual cards we wanted and bought them. But these ones did not have individual cards for sale. It's my guys. This one did not have individual cards for sale. You had to buy them as booster packs. Or at least anywhere that we went, we didn't see any. And she's one of my favorites too. I don't really care for any of these cards with the machines on them. He kept pulling tons and tons of Lily. But he's just happy he was able to get so many of the ones he wanted. So I have a feeling this video is going to be quite long, so thank you so much if you stuck around to the end. This is all of the merch that we got, in addition to, in last week's video, the Kimini Tadoke merch. So I believe I have one more Japan video left of the manga I bought in Japan, so stay tuned for that video, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching!